if if you hit somebody, don't leave. It's hard to say whether Diana Hinch is more mad or sad. He was standing there when we got off. I got off the bike. He was standing there by the truck, and then he just took off. Hinch watched as her two friends on the Harley Davidson in front of her collided with a white truck. Police say it was driven by 65-year-old Michael Foster, <laughs> killing the motorcycle's driver and sending the bike's passenger to the hospital. It doesn't look good at all. We we don't think she's going to make it. Hinch says Foster didn't stick around to find out. They had to bring the dogs out and do a search for him. Um, and then they, they found him and arrested him on a DUI and vehicular manslaughter. Police won't confirm that, but they do say Foster was also taken to the hospital, where he was treated before heading back to his home on Portland Place. We received a call this morning around 8 a.m. of a possible barricaded, possible suicidal subject. Lincoln police knew the man inside. The subject was involved in an accident last night involving a fatality. ISP's crisis negotiators tried to coax Foster out without him hurting himself or anyone else. What we try to do is we try to make contact and we try to set up dialogue with people who are in stressed conditions. Meanwhile, people who live in the area were evacuated and the Red Cross pulled up with water and food for officers and neighbors nearby. Even a pastor showed up to offer his help. He doesn't really want to take his life. He just hurt him. And if someone could talk to him, I believe with the anointing of God and God's touch, that God will bring him through this thing. That didn't happen. Police say hours later when they went inside the house, Foster was dead, leaving Hinch left hoping the only surviving victim will pull through. I love you guys. I love you and everybody say prayers that Shelly makes it. Keep the prayers flowing. In Logan County, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel.